Okay, hello guys. We're gonna be speedrunning um, tier five uh, Venery, uh, Venvenia. Basically, I just can't, I don't have the tier five passive from tier four right now. So I'll show you how to get it really fast and easy. I'm gonna speedrunning this. So first, you wanna grab Lassia's quest. If you're tier one, you wanna um, kill Yartel to get the quest. But after the first tier, you won't need to kill Yartel again for all the other tiers, which is why I was able to get the quest while being level one, by the way. So yeah. And then next, you wanna go over here. I my alt, I my alt, I my friend, my alt, or I get a friend that has 250 items right here. Do they give you 250 items, and then you bulk sell all of them, right? And then now you have the requirement to get minus. We'll go back and see. But yeah, you don't you don't actually need to sell 25k gold to get Midas. That's a really big misconception. You just need to sell 250 items. As you can see, I got the blessing from Lassia, God of Wealth. I, got, I completed the quest right here. So yeah, the wreck is requirement 250 items. It doesn't matter how much you sell for, you just need to sell 250 items. I think you got Midas right here without holding weapon. That's kind of that's kind of weird. At least should, I think you should at least have the order in your hands. Like, eh. And then here we want to sell. For here we need to, we need to reunite the world's riches. So just sell one of each pseudo artifact. You don't need to sell anything else, by the way. Just one of each pseudo is good enough. I'm selling it right here. And this should be it. See my soul quiver. And now we need to turn in all the items. For this part. The lights will show up show up around the map, and that's how you'll know where to turn in. I'll be showing you all locations right here. We're doing it really fast. The first one is near the martial artist trainer. The second one is in Deep Forest, like the cave, the cave for where there's like the berserker and necromancer trainers. It's on the out, it's on the entrance of that cave, but to the the left, the right, the right part of the entrance. I'll show you if you don't believe me. And then for desert, it's near the um, the void at Blades of the World. And then for the um, the last one, it's at the, the Tundra entrance. Basically, for a lights, if you're just starting out for tier one, you need to manually test all the combinations, which will cost you a lot of resources. So for me, I already I already found all figured out all this shit, so I already know what to turn in. It won't be the same for everyone, so do you recognize that? So I'm going to turn in my 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 um, combination that works. It won't be the same for everyone, by the way. Do you pay attention? So as you can see, it's working. And now these lights, well, they, these lights will all disappear, right? And then after that, you want to go to all the lights and do the exact same thing. All of them can take the exact same artifacts or something different. So basically, if you turn a stellion core, for example, in one of the lights, another one of the lights can also request a stellion core. But now the worst part about this is that um, a skyward totem can be required for the lights, which will completely screw over this run. But don't worry, if you get one slot where like the combinations don't require any skyward totems, you can, you don't need skyward totem for all of the for all the tiers, because the it the items required for sacrificing for each tier stay the same, exactly the same. Um, for tier one, you might need to sell all the mob drops and stuff like that. But for blueprints and lost scrolls, probably only one of each. So yeah, there's that. And now we're gonna head over. Oh my bad. We're gonna head over to the um, cave. This is all non-sped up, by the way, because I'm sure a lot of people are probably wondering how to get Venia, and it, it won't help if I just cut around footage and stuff like that. So yeah, here's a second light. Again, you, you need to test the combinations yourself. So I, y my combination won't be the same as yours. So keep that in mind. As you can see, I already tested these combination. I tested my com. I already found my combination. So all these items will be guaranteed to work right here. Right. Okay. Now, now, um, each of these you can get three soul quivers. Make sure you get three soul quivers, otherwise you're doing it wrong and you won't get Venia. And then we're gonna make our way back to um, Caldera. And basically, what you see is that um, I had a uh, I had six minutes to prepare for this before, and now I'm just running around for the rest of the steps. So yeah, I'm not gonna cut this part out because just in case people think like this speedrun is fake or whatever. Because I'm trying to make a point here. They could genuinely like progress tier one to tier five in like two hours if you had all the resources in hand and you already tested all the combinations. So yeah. Next we're gonna be hanging the tundra. It's really close by. It's like from the deep forest. You just head um right. And so we'll be heading there. 
Oh, and do note, if you don't have max gold, the lights will disappear after one of the quivers, which means it's bugged. You'll need to get back to max gold in order to see the light again. So yeah. Also, there's a visual bug where you might have the lights even though you don't have the 25k gold or the Unite the World's Riches requirement, which is step one. Which, um, in that case, you just ignore those lights if it's bugged. As you can see, I'm playing Legendary mode so I can prove a point. All these tricks are confirmed by the Trello, so if you want to check out where I got my information from, you can just go there. That's where I got my info from. But basically, I recommend that if your slot requires, if you end up finding out that your slot requires Skyward Totem to sacrifice, just um, just move on to another slot because that you don't want to waste time getting Skyward Totem. Because you, that's like from Yard Door or something like that, and you just gotta take so much time more time than just wiping and then and then trying testing new combinations all over again. And yeah, in future updates, if there's more untradeable artifacts, this will be even more painful. So um, you should you I might I recommend you do it now. And again, I already tested the combination for Tundra. All these combinations will work for me, but not for you per se. So you need to, you'll need to find your own combinations. The best way is to um is to. Uh, get a, a Mora set and then just brute force test on each of them. And now we're heading to our last location. I'm gonna reset here because um, it's more beneficial for me to do that because it's already really far away. Like the spawn is more than 30 seconds worth of walking, so it's better for me to reset here. I'm probably going to cut, this, cut the teleportation out because no one really wants to see that shit, so... Yeah. If you're wondering why the why the waiting time was cut out, it's because it's not... No one really no one wants to wait for that shit. Then now we go... to desert. Some other notes, you don't need to be Veneri to get this uh, mark. You can be any race, really. And then the final requirement is to wipe with um, the four objects of power. The four objects of power is Phoenix Tear, Nardana, Sigil, Stellian Core, and Voiki. As long as you wipe with those in your inventory, you should be fine. you should be good. The total amount of um, quivers you should have is 13 quivers. If you like reset and you get quivers, that one doesn't count. It's just from step one, just repeating itself over again. But something with um, Jane Code. As you can see, I'm about 14 minutes and 30 seconds in. If I do put a speedrun timer on this, I'll probably just um, add 30 seconds to the timer after the thing's up. I'm gonna turn to this. So again, you have to test you have to test the combination for yourself. It's different for everyone. Don't copy what I do for the combinations. It'll most likely fail. Okay, there we go. Now we have the four objects of power in our inventory, as you can see. And now we just wipe. The soul bustle is just extra. It's not needed, by the way. I just, I just had, I just gave myself an extra artifact. That's it. And now we're ready to. Now I'm ready. So now you see, I have 15 minutes, 46, 42 seconds in. I don't have the passive. And now let's 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 um respawn. And let's see what happens. And now let's go. See, we got Venian right here. This is complete proof that it works. There we go. And that's it. <laughs>